Hello everyone, welcome back to House of Fire 4 Black IC Play with Germany. This is Sainbaran and I'm taking a great pleasure and I'm enjoying a lot playing this campaign with Germany, I have to say. So we are in the year 1939, let's go on with the game, see what's gonna happen. So lately we have managed to annex Austria, Anschluss, Austria has been annexed. And then we have managed to annex Czechoslovakia. Now the problem is that the power of Poland is being steadily increased. As you can see, they're gonna conquer Romania. What I'm gonna do is that I'm not gonna hurry to declare one of them, but I'm gonna just research this national focus until I'm gonna declare them war. And I will declare them war. So, for example, Danzig for Slovakia, which means that I should declare war on Poland, I think. Well, we'll see about that. Now, another thing that I should do would be to declare war on Yugoslavia. I still have time. Handheld anti tank, we should produce. So let's see where we have this. Handheld anti tank. <coughs> Might be this one here, or the Morser. I think this one should be. Oh yes, we actually need a lot. I'm gonna do have another two. So let's have it full. Alright, now I'm gonna have full military factories. And the good point is that we're producing also a lot. We're producing a lot of civilian factories. So I'm gonna produce some military factories and some other factories. As well as some supply routes than many other military factories. In fact, let's produce even more military civilian factories because we're just gonna need them a lot. This is gonna be so important. Mecklenburg as well. This is our Germany. A little war for Yugoslavia. We're not gonna declare war just yet on Yugoslavia, perhaps later. First of all, we're just gonna have to wait until we kind of have some alliances, so on. Now let's see what Romania is doing because I think I vote to help them, but it seems they have absolutely, and I mean absolutely, no chance at all. They are being completely destroyed. Now let's see what our other troops are doing, what our other allies are doing, such as Japan, which has popped it through organized national like China. We can take a look here, Japanese. They have. Uh, China, Mingjiang, and Manchukuo as part of the state. They are really a great part. Now let's see, motivated research teams. Yeah, let's do this. I'm not sure what this is gonna bring, but possibly research bonus. Export focus, mechanical computing. What is 10%? Doesn't it actually see? This somehow help. <coughs> Alright, so this is the state of affair right now. I should strengthen a little bit this army at the border with Denmark. As it is indeed a poor army. Let's see if Sweden has been just yet. No, it has been not conquered yet. It's taking a lot of time because if we're gonna declare war on France or on UK, then we will very easily take the marginal line where they have almost no units. We're just gonna have to order the attack. <laughs> right, so now we're gonna have a new type of airplane. It's really good. Let's go on with the research here. Alliance with 
Italy, combat unit destruction, agility, perhaps priority. Yeah, let's see what we have here. Reset Eastern Claims. Yeah, let's get this. Seven days, time to have it. And in the meantime, let's build some new aircraft. First of all, and 10 upgrade. Well, we'll do this later. Now we're gonna have to build a new type of airplane we have here, BF-109 fighter. We have four at it. So let's have a BF-109 C fighter. Great. Anti-tank upgrade. Now let's build a new type of tank maybe, Panzer III. Panzer. Yeah, let's build the Panzer 3. Stubborn fools, conquer, focus on Lithuania. Now, time for us to start the war. And what do we have here? War rejects demands. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna start war on them. First of all, I would like to focus on something else. And that would be on 1938 industrial effort. Or actually, let's do this one here. 1938 industrial effort, which is right here. But um, now we're gonna have war go on Lithuania to take Memo. So many of our divisions are there, I'm not sure why they're all going in there, but whatever. In the meantime, Romania will be definitely conquered if we're not gonna intervene, and we will not yet intervene. Now we can declare war on Ukraine and capture, of course, Memo, or on Yugoslavia, I think, still available, yeah, and take Slovenia, which is, I think, this small territory here. And I think that no one would intervene if we're gonna do this. But we're just gonna wait a little bit. Okay, so now let's send more divisions here. 6,000 men cavalry division with some Czech small arms and some sniper team, sniper section. No invasion there. SS Signal Company, I'm not sure what that is. Japan Nuclear War in Shanxi, yeah, all of them are uh, developing and are expanding. Let's see what we have here. War in Yunnan, okay, whatever. Yeah, let's have this this airplane here. Okay, War in Guangxi, Clique, okay, this is gonna be a heavy war up there in Japan. Very interesting stuff. 41. The People's Republic of China. Yeah, they just want to conquer the whole China, but they make... Oh, what? What are this Romanian troops doing there? Oh, I see San Ma. What are this Romanian troops doing there? So strange. Very strange. Although the Polish troops are getting closer to Bucharest. The Birksteiger Division. Let's send it right here. The many of our troops are in here, as far as I can see. I don't understand what they're doing here. Look at this SS division with 17,000 men. Gorgeous. Yeah, so maybe we should declare war on Lithuania. We're in the year 1939. We should just wait just a little bit more. And then we should simply declare war on them. Alright, so what we have here. Even more submarines if you're gonna just march them like that. Right. We could also declare war on France at any time, any moment. They are in faction with these guys and they have so many puppet states here. French and China. They have learned this policy and they are supporting Republican Spain. 
also supporting them. So we have a Grenzwach to send it here. Okay, they have like 29 units. Guderian cannot receive more troops and Rommel cannot receive more troops as well. Although I think we have a slightly advantage there. <coughs> Good. 48% now. I also think that we can change, we could change very soon our national recruitment policy. Polish troops are also advancing slowly, but they are advancing and they are doing a good job. Romanian have lost so many nations. Maybe if we can join them in the war against the Poland, the Poles, then maybe they will support us. Join coming terror. People say, oh, this is bad because because USSR might go at war with Japan. Th if this is gonna happen, yeah, this is gonna definitely. Yes, they are already at war with Japan. Kong secretly can't join coming terror. Now, this is gonna be very difficult because I think Japan will lose their continental. Shanxi join coming turn will lose their continental thing and they will have only Japan on Now, this is gonna be very difficult for us. Now the good point is that the Russians will send their divisions from eastern border, western border towards Asia, and that means that we could we could give a huge blitzkrieg and attack them and take Moscow in a blink of an eye. And I think this is what we're gonna do. But probably. Now in the meantime, the Poles are advancing farther in Romania, or maybe not. Maybe we could help Romania a little bit more. Kingdom of Romania. Let's send more land leaves. Let's send more airplanes, for example. So, do we have a lot of airplanes? Yes. Right there, each so percent. Some interceptors. Having air superiority is gonna help the Romanians a lot. Now we have another Grinsvach division. Even more the forces that will fight in there. So let's see how we're doing here. We're in June 1939. What do we have here? Industrial effort. Yeah, I think soon we're gonna, we're gonna start the war. Very, very soon. So. Okay, we producing more civilian factories, which is great. And it seems that Sweden has not yet been taken. Uh, I wonder when will they modify land these? Offer me to invite the faction. Well, not yet, but very, very, very soon, maybe. Oh, what is this thing here? They will accept. Oh, we're, we're sending them this. Alright, whatever. Some convoys of airplanes, maybe. Yeah, let's sign it off. Although, I'm not quite sure what shall I sell them. These fine calls. Ten percent. As well, trying to accept. Okay, industrial effort. That's very really good. Now let's move on to strategic air effort. Ninety-eight days. Ooh, it's a lot. It doesn't matter. And let's build some more. Or let's produce some more of this. 122. Anti tank rifle and mines. It's gonna need a lot of this. Let's play something from Portugal. And let's see if we have any more civilian factories left. Actually, we do. 
and life tracker. We're doing the supplies, some handheld anti tank. But we don't have enough. And infantry guns as well. Gonna need more of this. We have a lot of tanks, except for Panzer 1 tanks. And what we also have is a lot of infantry equipment, which is great. Right. Let's see what the Japanese are doing because I really have to um, go and aid them. So, um, oh yes, they are conquering here. Japan was something to expect. Still, the Soviets will lose a lot. Okay, what can we research here? Mobilize or two, maybe later. What do we have? The most important engineer company on 33 days. Should buy something more from. Um, let's actually buy it from the US. More oil. I'm gonna have only two factories working. But it's okay. I don't really think that Japan will manage to keep the Soviets busy right there. And the French are still having three divisions at the border, but so this is not gonna help them. Let's research this fighter. HE in 30 days. Motivated research level 1. Great. Very far away to invite this guy's defection, and so is here. That's a wild place, different ideology. Sticking reasons. A pretty machine. Okay, so now it's time to take the decision. Actually, wait a minute. We have here a civilian factory, entrenchment, land fort, and no, it's not interesting. Yeah, strategic oil refinery. Now I'm just gonna have to go for this first industry. Yeah, and I'm gonna do it this first industry one. And I'm gonna have another troop here. Well, let's send it to right there. It's a very small and poor SS division. Motivation of speeches. Inspired of speech. Leader in your industrial sector. Yeah, let's do it. And I'm gonna have a new type of cancer. Let's go with Schwerpot. Now, let's see. Panzer 3. Yeah, let's produce it, but... And let's cut another production, let's see what. Yeah, this garrison equipment, maybe. Right, and now we're gonna produce some Panzer 3A, which I think we have no template yet. No, we don't, but it doesn't matter, let's produce it. <coughs> Right, let's send another division here. Cavalry division, although we still have some two cavalry divisions here. 6,000 and also 6,000. With some equipment from Austria. Anyway, 
So this was Romania. Oh no. Romanians are almost destroyed. Now, the point is that I could still declare war on them. Um, Ukraine, but I'm not gonna do it. So, first of all, let's see. We have this. Open additional. Open two additional arms factory. Gain national improved spirit of board the switch. Let's have this one here. So what do we have here? 1940. We're almost in 1940, but it's not working. HQ radio three four speed find speed. Right here we could research in type of ten. Well, first of all, I'm gonna research the two Panzer one, and we can have some outdated equipment. That would be. Yeah, this Carabiner 98K, so let's make it out. And uh, let's see, can we upgrade? Oh, we can upgrade this thing. Let's see, unfortunately not too much, so that means I had machine guns. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave this one here. B41. Now let's see where we have it. 41, V1, and V, so, okay, this is gonna be, gonna have to upgrade our stock and everything we have. We have two more factories that we could use. Now, let's see, where shall we use it? We don't have enough material, for example, here, but we have enough, and here, too. Yet another one. Open boots into the truck. I think we have enough of this. Also, have enough of tanks. Panzer 1. Create 50 ID vision. So, what else don't we have? Actually, we have everything we need. Maybe we could use more things such as artillery truck, Panzer 1. Transport. Well, where's the sniper team? Sniper team right here. All right. Is there enough of this? Yeah, let's let's do these more fighters then. No, wait a minute, that was a bad idea because I would also like to do some new type of fighter action. Gun to go here. It's right there. Right there, good. I'm gonna have another infantry division. Regular level, 16,000 men. Let's deploy it and let's see where could we deploy it. Deployed a border with France. Okay, now Romania will very soon be conquered. And this is what the Japanese are doing. Maybe they will also. Yeah, they are also being conquered just as I thought. That means that they are having absolutely no chance at all. No chance at all. Well, that's it. Let's modify the army. So we have Wachtruppen and the other guys. Alright. Where to send them? Let's see. Let's send them right here first of all. Thirty-one. Then we have still another Panzer Division. Let's right here. Oh, I don't know. 
in the far west with a lot of Panzer 1s. So I'm gonna replace them with Panzer 3. An SS regiment is 3,000 men. So let's send it right here. And this guy is already having full army. I'm gonna send an army here to border with Lithuania, although I could increase the border once once the war would start. Yeah, we can have a Nessus regiment with 8,000 men. Let's also send it right here. 32 of 60. Although I just think the 60 divisions are really enough. <coughs> What's gonna cost Romania is to invite a faction in the mega accept it. But I thought they were gonna have a land these. This will do some Panzer II. No, I'm not sure. Good, not interested in We're gonna have. What do we have here? Motivated Research, Motivated Army Level 1. Stuhl Panzer. That's good. Then let's go on. This is this type 9 summary. Okay, and then strategic effort. Now it's time for us to continue. I'm not gonna side the anti coming turn pack yet. I just have the possibility to declare war. Danzig for Slovakia or Danzig well, if I'm gonna put Danzig for Slovakia, I could defend Poland. Well, I'm not sure we're gonna accept this. Anti-coming turn pact is also not a choice. Let's go on with this one here. It's going to take 40 days. And it uh, simply seems they're going to soon have to declare war because it's not working anymore. In this thing here. And F this infantry motorized motorized infantry. Um yeah, let's end here. 29 divisions 33. That's why there are 29 divisions. Sign all in here. And all right, we have this thing here. So, um, set days. Now, let's see if I'm gonna go. No, first of all. Yeah, this is good in other areas, let's talk about the division. Here's some supplies. But the infantry division has been built. Let's also send it here. Yeah, and another one. 40 divisions. I think we're already having a huge amount of everything of a huge army. Now, the thing is like that, what is the possibility now, and I should already think because in 1940 I will enter war no matter what. First of all, let's attack Yugoslavia, and let's take Memon from Lithuania. 
and there is the clear war on Poland. Uh, if Poland, that, that will mean Danzig. If Poland will conquer Romania, I'm gonna immediately research Danzig or war. Because I really have to go forward towards Russia, which is now conquering the whole of Japan, and I don't want Russia to conquer Japan. So let's see what's going on here on the Eastern Front. Empire of Japan is falling behind. Although, I'm not sure how they have managed to invade there. Very strange. Unfortunately, I cannot help them. Oh, actually, I can invite them to faction and Japan the same, but the problem is that they are not a faction and they want to keep it. So there's nothing much I can do to, to support them. Well, that's it. Oh yes, Kingdom of Romania has been annexed. Alright, now time to declare war on Poland as quickly as possible. I'm gonna reinforce this as much as I can and I'm gonna research next in just a few days. Danzig or war. This is going to happen. In the meantime, let's try to get some more air force. I should have an incredible air force there. Out of 1,000. Good, now we're gonna have, or we should have, as well. So this is gonna be enough, I guess, and we're having a lot of airfields here. And we still have a lot of airplanes in reserve, especially naval bombers. But it is okay. It is perfect. Because Poland is in a different faction and they have Oh boy, wait a minute. Kiss military access, visited, an aggression pact, and together with Lithuania, is they're gonna have to increase the front line here regarding this guy. Alright, uh, this is gonna be a little bit difficult, but whatever. Like I said, very soon I'm gonna go for Dancing of War. Now, let's try to increase the forces that we have here at least the border. Although the forces there are very small. But let's just do it anyway. And let's see what we're doing here with supplies. So we still need a lot of infantry guns. So I cannot change it right now. We're creating some Panzer III. And also having a lot of heavy tanks. Horse artillery. A lot of infantry equipment. Well, it's not that much, but it's still okay. And. Your transport vehicles, a lot of them. Record infantry equipment, flame team, support equipment, off road car, armor car. Yeah, we actually have a lot of equipment, I think. I think we could support, we could sustain a war with uh, Poland. This is 71. I can make another huge change here. That would be war economy. Now, let's see how many factories we'll have now. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. That is actually great. So, this guy is already having 18 troops there. Now, Polish troops are com coming back. Taking some nutrition, however. Poland simply annex Romania. This cannot be possible. Unbelievable. How did I let that happen? Okay, let's go on with uh, Panzer IV. We're gonna soon have to break this as well. 
In fact, the question is how we're gonna create it. We should also create a Stool Panzer 1. Just to have it. What we have here is Panzer 1956, but for the division. Here it's gonna look like a Panzer Battalion. This is completely new Schneller division. Gonna have single motorized units, whatever. And Panzer Battalion, single only Panzer 3. Uh, I'm not gonna train. Actually, let's train one of them. Well, I know that we don't have enough. Panzer 3, but I don't care. Now let's go for Danzig or War. Just something as that in 7 days. Um, and... So that's another division here. And what do we have here? Oh yes, so we're gonna really have to create more Panzer III. And let's actually do it. Do we have Panzer III? Yeah, we have it here. Danzig or War. And I think... If fuses, then it is War. Yeah, and I think the War has just started. Can you write this war Poland? Uh, I'm gonna take a break because... Ask to join. Yeah, let's accept it. Is, is there something else? So there's this thing here, 35 days. And. No, wait a minute. Let's, actually, let's let it go. Fighters. Interception. We have to deploy all the planes we have. Started and I'm just glad. And we have a lot of airplanes to deploy. Okay, and another. Because I don't really think that Poland has any aviation, at least not as much as we have. Oh man, I mean, look at this, this is really incredible. And yet another one. Oh my god, this is so much. Good, that was enough. Let's see, let's let them go there, and let's send the guys to battle. Although it seems they would not gonna have a great chance here. Because the Volvers are having an incredible defensive skill. Alright, that was it. Now let's, uh, let's ask... Oh, they are at war with... with uh, Greece, okay, we're gonna have to... Oh, but they are, have already conquered Greece, actually. Well, that's good. Now, let's see, the question is if we're gonna advance against Poland. Because we should have some air superiority, I have to say. No. Oh, yes, here, for example, we're advancing towards Poznan. Actually, I don't think that the Polish are having enough troops there. Oh, and I have to do something else, but not. Let's increase the borderline a little bit. So, oh yes, we're having the other superiority. So we're gonna be... We're gonna just do it. We're gonna just do it fine. 
Wach Truppen Berlin, 3000. Yeah, actually, we're doing pretty fine. Uh, we can have a shortage of equipment a little bit, but this is not going to be a problem. And, uh, yeah, we could, we should, let's send, this is a huge fleet here in the Baltic Sea, so let's send it to patrol here in the Baltic Sea. They're gonna have four and two fleets there. They're gonna do a great job, I'm sure about it. And this guy's here in Poland, they should also do a great job. Although the Ukrainians are having villains of division of um, militia divisions, it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna take Poznan and we should actually have a great yeah, superiority here. Now, this is what our troops are doing. We are having their superior. This cannot be possible. So this guy from the United States Republic and Spain. Some material. Let's see. Well, so we're, we're, we're still advancing in Poland. Although we have lost billions of divisions lately. But I really want to push on and attack on, although it seems that the Polish are taking great care of their units. But it doesn't matter because if I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna send another general, for example, Rommel, or some general from here to, uh, to help, to say the least. We are having Gareth's priority, that's for sure. This can help us a lot. Well, here they have Gareth's priority. It doesn't really matter. And the problem is that they are counter-attacking here. Okay, so we have another division here. And HQ radios. Okay, good. Assault balls. Boats, whatever. So all these things are being researched, I think, including this one. But not from the Quicks Marina. So it's mutually exclusive, whatever. Yeah, this means that can go on. Let's do this one here. Yeah. I'm gonna have a little bit more factories. Let's see what can we build here. HQ radios. No, actually, I'd like to increase the production of Panzer 3A as much as I can. Okay, well, when Jung is capitulated. So I'm just gonna have to reduce the things actually right now. Um, let's create some more divisions. And let's 
Hilfe von Sowjets. That's okay, good. I'm not sure what the hell happened here. It's called United Kingdom. Uh, since when did they call the United Kingdom to this fucking war? Oh no, I'm so fucking annoying. Good. Kingdom of what? Well, I can call right faction. Wait a minute, because I think that yeah, they are invading us. So let's see who the fuck else is at war with us. These guys are not. That means I could take this army from here and send it right here at the border with Yugoslavia. I'm not sure. How the hell did they call it like that? I just don't get it. Oh, what the fuck are you doing, piece of shit? Okay. So we suddenly have on school Australia. Um wait a minute, I think Yes, we are to war with these guys, so you know what? Let's start attacking and let's go to Paris. We're not at war with these guys here. Yeah? Okay, so the global war has started and Doesn't seem that we're doing a good job here. It seems that Poland is completely destroying our armies. This is incredible. The good point is that Sweden has entered uh, on our side and okay whatever now let's see let's see what can we do yeah let's send more troops here suddenly billions of french troops have arrived and i don't think they're gonna have an advantage here they're gonna attack these guys have not entered yet hopefully that denmark will also not enter yet and italy is also attacking the french we have captured, I think, one territory here at least. But here we're losing a lot of men, and Poland, after a bloody war with Romania, they can resist our might. This seemed to be a big fucking bullshit, but whatever, let's see what's gonna happen. So we're still under research. Uh, let's research this one here, and we still need some fucking production. Doesn't really matter. Okay, we don't, we're not able to defeat the Polish here, and this is simply pathetic. Just don't understand how or why, but we will see now. First of all, we're gonna have to defend. Oh my god, you gotta be fucking kidding me with this fucking idiotic computer. Where the fuck is he? This fucking idiot. Just extend the fucking border as much as you can, you fucking idiot. Okay, here come the Italians. Right, we can let's see we ground support. There is suddenly I don't know how the fuck Poland gets into another faction like that, into Allies faction, and Japan cannot get in faction with me here. This is something I cannot fucking get it. And Greece is not yet fallen. And perhaps they have enter allies, maybe. Well it seems not yet.
Okay, this tree, let's go. Portugal. So we should actually do it better. Let's see what's going on here. Soviet, no, Turks. Right. Okay, finally we have break broken then. But it seems somehow they still have a lot of troops. Let's put some airplanes here. There should be no Polish airplane there. Okay, let's just we'll start there. So it doesn't seem they're gonna make it here in France. In fact, I think we're gonna lose a lot of troops. We already did lose a lot of troops. I also have air superiority, so I don't think we're gonna make it. Although the Italians might attack. Uh, no, actually, they are not attacking. They need to attack everywhere. In fact, could attack here, I guess. Right. Or not. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, no fucking way, they have captured Vienna. Good, so what do we have here? Around Marginal, I'm not sure what this one conquer focus against Belgium. No, I actually don't want to do that now. Um, let's choose something else. anti coming turn pack. No. Luftwaffe. Political advisor. Ice Autobahn. Yeah, I think this is gonna be important. Now we're having another division. Where to send it? Listen here, let's finish holding off. This guy's gonna have 19, but still, okay. Up here is bullshit. Let's make a break there. But two divisions have been gone. Five from the Soviets. So what do we have here? One of the two, we're gonna have this aircraft here. Interesting, let's have it. And we're gonna have some submarine, I think, but I'm not gonna do it now. So we still didn't manage to capture Danzig yet. And this one here is being repaired. Alright. Yeah, improve industrial output. That's a good idea. And the Polish are advancing again here. We have the circle one of my divisions. But we are having guys for you. This is unbelievable. Okay, let's send more troops here. Part of the Chico. It's capitulated. You have paratroopers. Yet another division. Let's send it also there. Yeah, what I don't understand is why the fuck you don't attack here, you fucking idiots. When you see that you have so much territory. Yeah, we're still having air support here, this is so bloody important here. Of this thing. And the Poles are still having a lot of divisions. This is also unbelievable. And so have the... Oh, there are the British here. This is gonna be very difficult. Six Americans here. What's your support? No. Italians are not doing it all good there. Probably I'm gonna have to help them again. Eleven divisions here. Should still be able to capture that port. Ok, 
Okay, good. What? Oh yes, because many divisions are there. Okay, I understand it. Listen to more troops. Let's take Poland. If you're gonna take Poland, deploy uh, some more aircraft here. Now we theoretically attack them right here, there are seven divisions and so unfortunately I'm to push that they send them right here because can move them. Okay, good. Now here Absolutely incredible. What a formidable attack they caused. Now the French have broken up here. Missing equipment. F46. I'm not sure where the fuck that is. F46. Actually, don't even. This is an old airplane. Um, let's see. Yeah, we can attack here. Let's get another attack here. With a little bit of luck, we will be able to break the French. Divisions here. Yeah, they're also trying to counterattack here, but they have no chance at all. Oh shit, they still simply having more troops. I should simply attack them here. I'm not sure it's gonna work, but let's at least try. See what's gonna happen. was a huge disaster. It's absolutely an incredible disaster. I shouldn't have done it. It's a shit. Well, let's have this one. And here we didn't manage to do anything, did we? Oh, because the French have arrived right away, and here the Italians are in his way. Here we're not managing to do anything because of the British troops. Let's deploy some more troops here. Oh. Don't even have any more airplanes anymore. The Italians are this is around a bit. Help them a little bit. Some fighters. So you guys stupid.
outdated equipment that would be this gas should be another gas right that's enough so did we do something here doesn't seem so pretty simply we have lost more troops Okay, so the Italians are not able to do anything here. We are also not able to do anything here. Um, means I think we should stop the offensive. For the time being. Yeah, we need to leave again. This by from the Soviets. Still another attack here. Never know, maybe it's gonna work. Stay here. Oh boy, this is gonna work. Because we're also having some air superiority in office. Oh yes, Danzig has been captured. Provide. All right. Be my guests. So let's try to take them once and for all. Now, first of all, we're gonna have to press these things here. So we set this end here now. Yeah, there is a total catastrophe, I'm not sure if I'm going to to save. Activate time there. I'm not sure what that is. But it seemed to be okay, and here we should stop the offensive. Before our troops will be completely destroyed. Here, with Poland, it's going better, and simply we're approaching Warsaw. Kind of it's okay. Now I think I'm gonna have to bring Rommel or no, I'm gonna bring Guderian here. Let's bring Guderian here. Where is it? Right here. Okay. Because Belgium is anyway not at war with them, so this should work. So let's hurry up. Offensive line quickly. No. Unfortunately, it's too late for the Italians. It's simply too late. Actually, I have another idea with Kukaria. No, I have another idea as well. Wait a minute. Because I'm not even sure what the fuck to do here. Let's actually do this. Although... It's gonna be... 
fucking hard, fucking difficult. What can we do here? Okay, so now I still need to buy this fucking resources. And in the meantime, we're losing a lot of men. Uh, hopefully, Cadillion will be ready very soon, or maybe not. We'll see about that. They have almost united the fronts here in the end. And suddenly, we cannot advance any farther. Uh, actually, we are. Actually, we are advancing. Okay, let's completely attack with Cadillion right now. Increase the speed. And wait a minute, we could attack here as well. Then why not attack it? So it's here. Full of wars. Great. So yeah, let's keep them busy a little bit, you know. And uh, Gudelian should also move forward. Okay, this was going on in France. Yes, we have advanced and we are advancing even further. Good. And with Guterian also on that front, because the French are a little bit busy up over there. Unfortunately, they have taken Vienna, and that is not good at all. But we have captured Warsaw, and we are going to capture even far more territory, hopefully. That's right, we are also capturing Memo. They could... Oh, but these are... Wait a minute, these are... This is Sweden. Sweden, which has just a few units, but they are sending all over here. They could invade us, actually, here, somehow. Wait a minute, I have another idea. I have another idea. So, first of all... Let's send this Panzer Division right here. And let's buy some more fucking resources. Good. Just gonna need them. First of all, I just want to deploy some airplanes here. Just here, some naval bombers would be so important. First of all, I'm gonna have to deploy them here. Right. This is good. Is it this other way? Okay guys, so I'm gonna have to split the video here. We are on the brink of collapse. We are in year 1940. Let's see what's going on here. So the British have attacked with like 1 billion ships and they have sunk almost everything they got. With 127 ships. Man, how can you attack with so many ships? Incredible. But we have sent our naval bombers. So if you like the game, don't forget to subscribe and check out the next episode. Until then.